Hey guys, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's take a look to the cross chain bread uh, solution that Binance bring us in order to change from Ethereum tokens into the Binance Smart Chain. So first of all, in order to use this uh, tool, what you guys need to do is to have a new tab and look for the Binance section, the Binance Exchange. So you can log in and after you logged in into your account, you can be successfully used this Binance Chain Binance Bridge. So what I want to do is to log into my account first. So as you can see, you can be redirected into available trustless cross-chain solutions here, uh, whether that will be Seller C Bridge or any swap. So what I want to do is to go into any swap here, as you can see here is the router here, and let's connect our wallet here so we can use MetaMask, Oak uh, Coin, uh, or Wallet Connect. So I'm gonna select MetaMask, it's going to be popping up a notification window where I have to connect my wall here and here it is so I want to go back in here and what I want to do now is from which uh, token do you want to make here I'm going to go into bridge here so I want to select the token that I want to make this swap for let's say you want to make swaps from DIA here so once you select here your uh, your binance chain let's select the token that you want to make the swap let's say usdt here so here is the erc20 and you want to make the swap from the uh binance smart chain into the ethereum mainnet so if you agree with that just go here into agree this is the reminder and you can make the swap for if you want to do this backwards then you want to switch into Ethereum network. So I'm going to go into switch network here. And then instead of the Ethereum network from, uh, I mean to, then you can select your other uh, network, which is in here. But just in case it doesn't work for you, no problem. I can go back into the other bridge. That would be cbridge.seller.network. And I want to select from Ethereum mainnet. I want to connect my wallet once again and change that into the VMV chain. So here it is the VMV chain. You need to put the amount of tokens that you want to make the swap for. And this is what you're going to be receiving. As you can see, it's a little bit less. That totally depends on what kind of tokens you want to make the swap in here, right? So if you are into the router here, you can make the swap here. Let's say you want to select your DIA here, stablecoin, and you want to change that into the DIA of the BMV smart chain. So if you select a maximum amount, that would be, let's say, one for that. Uh, you can select the option that says approve DIA. Uh, if the liquidity of the charge is insufficient, you will receive, uh, please check the balance in the liquidity pool and redeem DIA. So just go ahead and select the option that says continue. As you can see, here's the network fee is going to be costing me like $2 in order for making this transaction. It's a little bit um, higher than usual because this is an Ethereum network and Ethereum is really, really um, expensive in order for uh, making transactions in here. So I strongly recommend you guys to uh, just be really aware of that. So let me know guys if you have any questions, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys if you want to see more about Binance. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.